In this experiment, we'll be transforming carrot explants with green fluorescent protein from the agrobacterium that we previously inserted the gene for green fluorescence into. For this experiment, we'll need several tools, including a scalpel, a short pair and long pair of forceps, an alcohol burner, carrot seedlings, callus initiation medium, sterile petri plates, and the agrobacterium that expresses green fluorescence. And this is the agrobacterium that we'll be using for this experiment, and you can see it glowing under the ultraviolet light. As with all tissue culture protocols, we begin by washing our hands with soap and water up to our elbows and then spraying them down with a 70% solution of alcohol to make sure that they're sterile and no microorganisms um, are on them and could possibly contaminate any of the tools or culture tubes that we'll be using. After they've air dried, begin by lighting the alcohol burner. Recall that the alcohol burner is used to sterilize the tools that we're using, such as the scalpel and the forceps. The scalpels and forceps are uh, sitting in uh, alcohol right now, so whenever we take them out and pass them through the flame, they will burn for 10 or 15 seconds to make sure that they're sterile. Using the longer pair of forceps, we want to remove a carrot seedling from its sterile culture tube and place it into the lid or bottom of a sterile petri dish. This is where we'll make the cuts on the carrot plant. Notice that we flame the tools each time that we use them to make sure that they're sterile. Using the scalpel, pick a colony or two from the plate. And then make cuts along the carrot from the leaf end to the root end about every two to three millimeters. Make sure that the portion of the scalpel you're using to make the cuts contains the bacteria that you just picked off of the plate. What we want to make sure of is that the bacteria have ample opportunity to colonize the explant material. Then using the longer forceps, we're going to place several pieces of the carrot explants onto the callus initiation medium. Once completed, we'll store the explants in a cabinet or a drawer somewhere that's clean and, um, and, and has been sprayed down with a solution of alcohol to make sure that it's sterile. And we'll let them grow for two to three weeks, and then we'll check them for expression of green fluorescence in the callus. Here's the procedure repeated one more time just to give you some experience so that if you have to complete this particular technique in the laboratory, you'll be more comfortable with this particular procedure.
and here we're just completing the second tube. You can repeat this procedure as many times as you need to. After we culture them for several weeks, two to three weeks, we can expect the um, callus, some, of, some portions of the callus to glow under UV light and express the green fluorescent proteins that we transformed the carrot callus material with.